<laughs> All right, so we are at the booth from Prusa, and right next to me we have Rudolf, and you're going to tell me all about this new beauty, the Core One. Yes, so it's a Core One. Uh, where to start? First of all, this is a Core X Y without the compromises. You know, yeah. it has a beautiful exoskeleton which you can take with a few screws uh, with a few screws apart. You will end up with this beautiful L shape, so you can work on the machine and etc. Yeah. The build plate. It's exactly the same as it's on uh, MK4S, yeah. but we squeeze one extra centimeter from the Y and we uh, squeeze five centimeters extra from the Z axis, which means it has a 30% larger build volume yeah. while actually having 50% less volume than MK4S uh, in the enclosure and 30% yeah. less than MK4S itself. It is the same uh, fantastic extruder as MK4S, uh, which means it has a low cell for a perfect letter and etc. It is a printer which is capable of printing uh, ABS, ASA, uh, all the advanced uh, materials. Can you print carbon out of the box? But, well, that depends on uh, what is it infused with. Like uh, for PCC, you don't even need it's the enclosure. A, but there's then, uh, a hardened steel nozzle in there. Uh, no, there is not a hardened uh, steel nozzle. That's a good one. So there is a high flow nozzle one. CHT, which yeah. comes from the MK4S. Yeah. Uh, so but they are interchangeable. They, they are interchangeable for because, for example, for MMU3 you need a standard yeah. nozzle due to the yeah. flow cleaning. You can actually print a PLA and PETG with it with closed door because you have uh, two powerful ventilators. That's a bold statement. It's a bold statement because it has a temperature control. But it, you can also print advanced materials uh, due to the fact that with these two side cuts we have uh, yeah. made the chamber slightly smaller so it's easier to heat up uh, yeah. and faster to heat up. And we can heat it up up to 55 uh, Celsius, which is actually the limit of the electronics. This, this is all passively by the bats. Yes, no there is no extra, there are no yeah. extra heaters. Uh, another, or the best part about it is like now we are talking about a beautiful new Core X Y machine yeah. uh, from Prusa, but you can convert MK4S to this machine. No way. Yeah, there is a conversion kit. It's uh, it will be available. And uh, you just need to disassemble the MK4S and then uh, assemble this uh, beauty. And what is going to be the pricing for the conversion? It's around 450 euros, I think. Yeah. Something uh, in that ballpark. So the know. people that want to step up but don't want to buy a new printer for less than 500 bucks, you convert it to this beauty. I think you hit it absolutely right. Yeah. Because for us, this is a new platform. This is a yeah. new chapter. This is a new vertical. MK4S is go not going anywhere at the moment. We yeah. want to keep it because uh, it's a fantastic system on uh, that Cartesian up to pa on, a, on a part with the fastest printers on the market. But this is, uh, let me say, 10 to 20 percent faster. Yeah, just by the you, kinematics that are... Just not the kinematics. Yeah. Certainly you benefit by the, the kinematics, uh, but the variation gain is when you print larger models because uh, heavier models, they need to slowly slow down uh, with yeah. the Cartesians. I can see you are using ball bearings uh, for the rods. You are using a linear rail for the. Uh, it's I think you are right. I didn't uh, yeah. check it uh, out. Uh, so, no sleeves. You can see on cheaper printers they are using some kind of a graphite uh, sleeve. Yeah. You chose bearings. Yeah, it's always uh, you know up to engineering team uh, and because you find one improvement and then you need yeah. to uh, fix problems which it brings. For example, when you're heating up the chamber, you yeah. need to make sure that uh, the electronics uh, will survive. Yeah. When you enclose it, you need to make sure that you are able to vent it because 90% of people print from PL and PG. Yeah. So enclosed printer. Which I am the complete opposite. I'm all about the high temp filaments. Okay. I love it. This is perfect uh, printer for you. And yeah. it's also the printer which you can have, uh, which is enclosed and then you can actually print PL and PG. You are in that 20% of users, yeah. which is small size but substantial and yeah. that's where this uh, printer caters it caters very well if you want to save space if you want to enlarge uh, the platform or if you want to print uh, out of the advanced materials more uh, precisely like with a higher chamber temperature how much of the system is printed we could see on other printers you are using a lot of self-printed parts i can see on the carriage that it's a mix of uh, steel CCF and, and, uh, uh, and aluminium yes yeah 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 uh well you know how much of it is printed, we would have to look inside and uh, look for the yeah. parts. But for us, it's not like uh, that uh, 3D printing is a bad thing, it's actually excellent. Oh no, it's not yeah. meant to be bad. Uh, I can see that all the idlers are actually in a plastic part. You're still doing a lot of in-house printing. And we will. To, uh, it's, it's, yeah. a, it's a philosophy. Sometimes you injection mold something, but then we provide a file for it. Sometimes you, uh, uh, you print it and then you later decide that you actually want to injection mold it like this display. So we always keep the paths open as a hobby and vision also 3D printing that it it lives with our skills and yeah. industries. I love open source. Exactly. I'm all about it. <laughs> <laughs> now, you have mentioned that there are two fans in the back. 
yeah. are these temperature controls. Yes. So you can set the mint slicer, it cannot get hotter than, let's say, 45 degrees. Yes. And they will start to ramp up, or it's just like an on or, on or off I'm switch? I'm not 100% uh, in uh, those technical details, uh, but yes, uh, they have a temperature, chamber temperature, which they want to have, and uh, then this fans work towards the uh, chamber temperature while also trying to yeah. keep the printer quiet because they are very, very powerful. Yeah. <laughs> I can also see you are losing, uh, using a lot of uh, stamped steel. Yep. Yeah. Is this a benefit in <laughs> instead of costing? If you would drop it on the floor, you can actually stand on it. All right. And uh, if you look at it as a out of future platform, you know, like what is inside of it, this, is, this exoskeleton is extremely overpowered. Yeah. And that's what we are great at. If you look at MK4 to MK4S, that was $100. Yeah. Uh, and you get a hugely improved printer. Uh, let's see what this will bring in the future. Like you will spend money once, but then you will always have a printer up to date with a small upgrades. We don't know if the upgrade will be 100 or 200 or 500 dollars. So we can depends. expect updates even from the system. Upgrades for sure. That's how yeah. the printer is built. And this is a printer of tomorrow. One big question. Yeah. Is it Jesse proof? It is. <laughs> So we have resistance on yeah, the door? Well, yeah, there is a... Yeah. So there's no reason to be worried. Yeah. Are we using glass or uh, acrylic? Uh, it's a plexiglass. Plexiglass. On all sides? On no, all sides. On the yeah. If you hit it badly on some weak spot, you might actually break it. But we were punching quite hard yeah. uh, and it serves as a lot because Let's look at it. It looks amazing, yeah. but the uh, printers, they don't live in the living rooms. So yep. you want to have something which is sturdy, which can survive some of the beating exactly. If you have it yeah. in far print farm, somebody trips. Yeah. Actually, we dropped one of the printers in the development and the printer was fine. What I also noticed is that you have a very wide angle of the door. Yes. Which is very nice. And, and you can flip them as, uh, yeah. around. There is actually some kind of hybrid of the door. You can switch it up. Yeah, because if you have it in a print farm, then you can have a smaller uh, walk, yeah. um, walk line. Very cool. You're probably one of the first, I think. I have, in my experience, not seen the printer that does the, the switching of the door thing. Yeah, because we build it, when we're building the printer, we always build it for ourselves. We run yeah. one of the largest print farms. You can bet this will be as reliable as other printers yeah. because uh, we will replace uh, many of our print farms uh, machines with uh, this solution and we will, it will age like a wine. <laughs> then one last question. There are yeah. two prices. Do you still provide a kit? What can you expect from a kit? So the exoskeleton is probably one piece. So you have still uh, to assemble everything? Or? Yeah, you will have to still assemble everything, but it's going to be faster to assemble probably than MK4, as you're yeah. guessing, because uh, assembly line already started to assemble these. Yeah. Uh, and they are giving us information that this is easier to assemble than MK4S. And what time you have to spend on yeah. building the machine? Uh, you know, it's uh, different when uh, guys in factory uh, do it. I think we yeah. have to try it on a couple for of people. For the novice people at home. But let's see. Uh, we say eight hours for MK4S, so maybe it will be six. I, I have no idea. Yeah. All right, and you also uh, deliver these completely assembled. Yes, that's, uh, you can order the completely assembled ones uh, today, and we will start shipping in January. And what are the prices on these machine? Uh, it's a 1,349 uh, euros. Yes. For the assembled one? For the assembled one. All right. And for the kid one, I don't know it from the top of the head. It's yeah, I think dollars. it's about 1,049. Yeah, less. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to thank you for your time. Thank it you very, very much. interesting to see you and to see this printer. This was an actual surprise. I didn't expect to see uh, another smaller Corex one uh, from Prusa. It looks amazing on the first uh, glance. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it's going to age and if it's going to age like a fine wine. It will. Yeah. All right. Thank you for watching, thank guys. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one. But before you go, there is also going to be a giveaway by the end of the year. We are going to give away resins. We are going to give away filaments, even this dryer box and some coupons from PCBWay. So if you are interested, follow the link down below and watch the live stream at the end of the year to see if you have won those prizes. It's going to be very casual with some beers or a bit of rum and turn on the notifications. Then I also want to thank Zhang He for inviting me and keep supporting the channel like they do and also my wife for filming everything you have seen from Formnext and obviously you guys and the members of the channel for your continued support so we can do crazy stuff like visiting Formnext. All right, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.